Hey guys, my name is Kieran and this is MTV Cribs. Welcome to my home. Before we start, you might be wondering why is he wearing a stethoscope? Well, the truth is that I'm a doctor and I just want people to know that I'm a doctor. Let's go inside. We'll start with the, um, this little miscellaneous room here. Inside of this room, we have this shoe rack here that we use to store all of our shoes. You'd be surprised at how many shoes Sam actually has. If you didn't know, I live with my fiance, Sam. This is a snippet of the number of shoes that she has. Bear in mind, we've got a very small two bedroom flat. She probably has over 50 pairs of shoes. Also in here, we have the washing machine, which is also a dryer. We've got all of my tennis rackets that you can see in the corner, the tennis balls over here as well. And then we've put in this little coat rack that you can see here. The reason that's useful is because in a tiny flat like this in the city center, we need somewhere to put this sort of stuff. So coat rack and also some shoes at the bottom. Not very interesting room and we're gonna move on. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, in the kitchen, this is quite a big kitchen for a two bedroom flat, I would say. But I think it's the kind of thing where you fill the space that you have. So, you know, if this was smaller, probably we would have less stuff, if that makes sense. My favorite thing about the kitchen is probably this chopping board. This chopping board is from Ikea, and I don't know if you can tell the proportions, but it's absolutely massive. Uh, you can basically just chop loads of stuff on it. I also have this Japanese knife that I got bought as a birthday present from one of my friends, uh, which was like made out of some sort of Japanese steel that was like randomly a hundred pound knife. Uh, what else have we got in the kitchen? We've got some cooking books, uh, as you can see here. Moving on in the kitchen, we have got the dishwasher here. We have got some kitchen appliances, all of which are cream. Uh, here we've got this KitchenAid, which we got recently. The pot of it is probably away somewhere, but that's really useful for making the bread and that sort of thing, which we do once in a blue moon. This, which is one of my other favorite parts, which is the Nespresso Creatista. I got this actually secondhand, which might be like a weird thing to do with a coffee machine, but it was just way cheaper and it was basically unused. The reason that we got this one in particular is because it has a little milk wand and you can froth your milk in there and make proper milky drinks like lattes. Microwave, which has been in my family for like 10, 15 years now. It's almost considered family heirloom, maybe like a sibling. And then we have got the fridge. Contents of the fridge today. Come a bit closer, I'll show you the contents of the fridge. We've got some ginger beer. We have got some beans, some red chutney. Really nothing that you can immediately eat looking at this fridge, but lots of things that you can probably make ingredients with. Um, lots of meat-free sausages and burgers in there. This is the kitchen table where Sam does most of her work. The reason for that is because I've got a little desk that I do my work on. It's a nice table, uh, it came with a flat, which we're renting, we didn't buy. But the issue with this is that it's glass, so any little touch on this basically makes a mark. This is the living room. Come If you come around this side, might be better for the sun. This is the living room. Uh, in the living room, you can see a Chanel catwalk book. This book is basically just here for show. No one's actually read it. It's a bit of a hindrance, but it was a gift to Sam. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm constantly living in fear that I might spill something on it. We've also got the prized possession, which is the Philips Ambilight TV. This is a 55 inch bad boy. Any bigger than I thought probably wouldn't fit the room properly. But the reason that I like this TV in particular is because it has got those lights at the back. So, fills the room with ambience. So the flat rather came with this little cabinet where we can store loads of stuff in. We've got a blanket, I've got my PlayStation and we've got loads of games because we're really into playing games, including the Sherlock Holmes game, Monopoly Deal, Uno, Pandemic, um, Cards Against Humanity. And then I've got my Q Acoustic speakers here 
uh, on, the, on the sides, powered by a monitor underneath. We've also got this little plant here. Uh, I'll just give this plant a little pet. Uh, really nice plant. This flat is kind of a bit of a cemetery for plants as everything we have here usually dies. So it's only a matter of time before this one dies as well, but for the moment it looks really nice. Let's move on to the desk. I've done a separate video about the desk and the desk setup, but this is probably the area that I spend the most time in, uh, writing, editing videos, all of that sort of thing. You might recognize this little area here as the setting of my videos. Behind here, we've got this gold lamp, uh, which Sam got, I don't know where it's from. We've got my ultra wide monitor, the iPad, which happens to have my channel on it. What a coincidence. And then the Mac, which is powering the whole thing. The reason that this is cool is because there's one USB-C cable going from this Mac to this laptop and like powering the whole thing. I've also got the Amazon's Basics mouse, uh, the one of the Apple keyboards and the Magic Trackpad as well. Up on the wall, you can see this map that says adventure is always a good idea. This was bought by Sam as one of my birth birthday presents. And the reason we got this map is because we love traveling and we could scratch off the places that we have been. So we started scratching off the places that we've been together. But this is a particularly difficult map to do because most of the big countries are in states. So even though we have been together to America, to New York, to Washington, that sort of thing, it's such a tiny bit of the country. I think at some point we need to go to Russia and China to actually get any of this done. Let's move on and I'll show you the bedrooms. So this one is the first bedroom. This is the guest bedroom. If you come inside, you can see there's basically loads of my stuff in here. You can see these lights over here, uh, which I use to record. You can see the washing that's hanging up here. And then obviously you can see the bed, which has been made. There's a little wardrobe behind the corner as well basically has got mostly Sam stuff in. We've also got this bad boy, which is the Dyson V8. It's, it's revolutionary having a handheld Hoover and they are really expensive, but we got a refurbished one from eBay and I definitely recommend it. As well as a fake plant from Ikea and a little board that says, your opinion isn't in the recipe, probably would be better suited in the kitchen. Let's move on to the bathroom. We'll go to the main bathroom first. We have, it's not, not much to see other than it's a nice bathroom. You can see here, sink, toilet, bath and shower. We've got all of our fragrances up here as well. Um, mostly Sam's, some of which are mine, but they look quite nice in the corner. And then we've got a little gold plant. Let's move on to the bedroom. This is the main bedroom. In this bedroom, you can see immediately that there's a massive ASOS package here. We get visited by ASOS Christmas pretty much every day and he delivers a package off for Sam with some, some sort of clothes in, some of which get returned, most of which don't get returned. So this is Sam's side of the bed. That's my side of the bed. And you can see that she's got her Kindle and her books here. Uh, and the reason I like that side of the bed is because if you look, it looks quite clean, but actually if you go around here, you can see all of my stuff that I've hidden on the floor at the bottom here. So it's good because I can hide things here and people <laughs> don't know they're there. We've got the beautiful views of Manchester City outside. I should have taken you outside. I'll take you outside in a second. For now, we're gonna to go to this other bathroom. This is the ensuite bathroom, which is kind of like a small version of the other bathroom. I feel like I'm selling you this house now. The best bit about this bathroom is probably these toothbrushes. This is the Oral-B IO8, I think. And the, bear, believe it or not, these, this is like a 250 pound toothbrush, very expensive toothbrush. We got it on some Black Friday deal. And uh, the best thing about it is it gives you a little smile once you've brushed your teeth well. So that's why it's nice 
to brush your teeth with that one. We've got drawers in here as well. So we've got drawers here, we've got a wardrobe in there. Of these drawers, uh, I've got two. So I've got one which is for my t-shirts. I've got one which is for my pants and socks. And then I've got probably one fifth of that wardrobe and that is my wardrobe space done. I also forgot to mention that we have two car parking spaces. These are located underneath the building. So actually conveniently we take a lift which goes straight down to the cars. This is premium city centre location so we pay an absolute fortune for these. <laughs> This flat is unbelievably close to the city centre and you'll see in a second that if you come here, what a nice day, what a surprisingly nice day for Manchester. The city is over in this direction and actually the Arndale Centre is over there. The Arndale Centre is literally a stone's throw away from the apartment. That's it guys, thank you for joining the tour. This was our two bed flat in Manchester city centre. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you didn't, you've watched it to the end anyway. And here we are. I'm gonna show you out, as I do. I'll remind you, as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought in the comments. All of that normal YouTube blurb that you give after a video. And out you go. Bye.